Yeah, this is Ray Dean with G-Works, Titus chapter 2, verse 14. Zellies of good works, he gets doing what is good. G-Works is a business that represents Dirt for Go, reach eternal life through Christ and keep the cross moving. G-Works also represents CMC, cross movement clues, trying to figure out clues within the Bible. 39 books within the Old Testament and 27 books within the New Testament. I am a ninth grade dropout. Um, I don't have a GED or high school diploma. And I don't have any type of college degree. Only thing I got, only thing I got is my name is Ray Dean Johnson and my my name Ray Dean means um, Ray Dean means Light leader, or 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 light educated. My rating means light leader or light educated. That's what my name means. It really doesn't mean um, educated by the world standards. I am pretty much a fool to the world. And you can pretty much tell by my YouTube videos how I am a fool to the world based off on taking antipsychotic medications in my past, taking antipsychotic medications and for mental illness and schizophrenia and disorganized thinking. But um, I need the word of God to um, fight against this disorganized thinking. And I don't need no medication. Don't need no pills for my brain. I already agreed that I have some type of um, sin within my thinking as um Everybody's got some type of sin is like mental illness. And everybody in the world has got like mental ill thinking based off on when Adam sinned, sin entered the entire human race. Adam sin brought death, so death spread to everyone for everyone's sin. Um, so um, I'm going to... Um, another scripture verse says, 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after or accordingly to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal and are not unspiritual, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds and casting down sinful imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ and having in a readiness to revenge and punish all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. And I pray that this YouTube video will bring some obedience to fulfill and the end, and when I believe end time prophecy events will happen soon, and um, my topic is going to be coming from the book of um, the four Gospels: Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And the book that I'm choosing from those four Gospels is Matthew, chapter 24. As um, Kobe Bryant, 24, um, as his jersey, Kobe Bryant jersey is number 24. He played for the Los Angeles Lakers. And um, yeah, um, Kobe Bryant, 24. And um, um, Matthew, chapter 24. Just it's it's just to give somebody a clue, get give them a clue, and if you ever see a, a jersey of um, Laker 
Kobe Bryant 24, just think of Matthew chapter 24 about end time prophecy. Yeah. And so also you can think about this as well that 24 is um, a Laker fan as well. And they, um, I, I use Los Angeles Lakers meaning um, the wicked will be punished and the loss um, the, in the lake of fire mentioned in the book of revelations as in um and they shall be tormented um day and night forever and ever within the los angeles lake of fire and, and brimstone day and night forever and ever or they should be suffering timeless torture agony Stressful, stressful, um, I mean, tormenting, stressful punishment, pain within the Miami Heat, Lake of Fire and Brimstone, day and night, forever and ever, mentioned within the book of Revelations. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start. So whenever you see a Los Angeles Lakers jersey in the NBA, 24 Kobe Bryant, 24. Think of, think of um, the Lake of Fire as well. And whenever you see a Miami Heat jersey, um, as in Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade and LeBron James used to play for the Miami Heat a couple years ago. And when they won a couple, when they won two championships for the Miami Heat, LeBron James and Dwayne Wade and Ray Allen uh, won a couple championships for the Miami Heat. But there's going to be a Heat, uh, a tormenting. There will be a resurrection of the dead of both the righteous and the wicked. Not only the righteous ones will rise, but the wicked ones will also rise. And both of the dead, great and small, will stand before the throne. And the Lord will execute judgment from his books of deeds. And the Lord will command the righteous ones to eternal life and peace. And will instruct the wicked ones to pain and eternal, um, eternal suffering. And there's going to be eternal suffering for the Miami Heat. Uh, Miami Heat for this, uh, for those that do wicked and bad and sinful and be a bad boy here and a bad girl here on this earth. There's going to be um, suffering for the bad boys and bad girls for the... In the future, concerning Miami Heat fans and Laker fans that dwell in America, the people that dwell in America for you Laker fans and you Miami Heat fans, was well, punishment coming for the bad boys and bad girls. So, um, my, my again, um, getting back to the focus. On my topic is coming from Matthew chapter 24, 24. Um, Jesus foretells future prophecy to his disciples. Gideon's translation version and King James version. Uh, when Jesus, when 
one Jesus, when Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and that, that's how it goes, and Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him. And his disciples came to him. And his disciples came to him. For to show him the building. And the buildings. And the temple. Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these, see ye not all these buildings, see ye not all these buildings and things. Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left There shall not be left Here One stone upon another That shall be truly brought down And thrown down be one stone upon here that truly that shall truly be brought down and broken down and cast down and destroyed down to the ground As he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came, the disciples came to him privately and said, When shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of your coming and of the end of the world? Jesus answered and said to them, Take heed. Let no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name. Saying, I am the Christ and shall deceive many and shall mislead many and shall misguide many. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see that you be not so deeply troubled and see that you be not so extremely sorrowful and sad and see that you be not so severely distressed and sorry and see that you be not so deeply and see that you be not so greatly disturbed and start to weep and cry. All of these things must come to pass and must come into fulfillment, but the end is not yet to come.
nations shall rise against nations and kingdoms against kingdoms and there shall be famine and there shall be many nations with no food and there shall be pestilence and there shall be deadly life taken diseases and there shall be earthquakes in many different places within the world but all of these are the beginning of sorrows and distresses and troubles and are like birth and are like birth pains within the fallen humanity sinful world shall deliver you up to be afflicted and to be persecuted and they shall kill you and murder you and you shall be hated and you shall be hated of all nations because of Christ's sake and because of the gospel's sake. And many shall be offended and many shall feel like someone is disrespecting them and is against them. And many shall betray one another and many shall hate one another and many shall dislike one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many and shall mislead many and shall misguide many. of lawlessness and iniquity shall abound the love of many people shall wax and develop Because of lawlessness and iniquity shall abound, the love of many people shall wax and increase and develop and increase. Cold hearted, unloving, cold hearted hearts. But he that endured to the end that godly person a real genuine G shall be saved and this gospel of the kingdom of heaven shall be preached in all the earth for a witness to unto all nations and then the end of the world shall come desolations of, uh, of abominations spoken by Daniel the prophet standing within the holy place and 
within Jerusalem and within Israel, within the new created Jewish temple, within the fallen humanity sinful world. He that read it, let him understand. And he that be within and he that be within Judea let him flee and go into the mountains. And he that and he that be on the housetop, let him not go down to get anything out of his house. And, and neither do not let him that be within the field Turn back to get and take his clothes. And woe to them that are with child. And woe to them that give suck. Woe to women and woe to women that's feeding babies from her breasts within those deeply troubling, distressing days within the fallen humanity sinful world. Pray ye that your flight nor vehicle ground traveling be ye not within the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For there shall be a lot of extremely for there shall be a lot of deeply troubling, distressing, distressing, great, extreme tribulation within the fallen humanity sinful world. Such as was not since the such as was not since the such as was not since such as was not since the beginning of the created world even to this time within the fallen humanity sinful world and no nor shall there be any similar of any like of any kind of deeply troubling distressing great extreme tribulation within the fallen human, humanity sinful world ever again and except those days were shortened
there shall not be no flesh and there shall not be no human that shall be saved but for the elect's sake and and for Christ's chosen sake those days shall be shortened And if any man shall say to you, What's up? And lo, and hey, and yo, here's the Christ. Believe it, believe it not. Or, What's up? And lo, and hey, and yo, there is the Christ. Believe it not. For there shall arise many false, deceiving, misleading, misguiding Christ within the fallen humanity, sinful world. And there shall arise. Many false, deceiving, misleading, misguiding prophets within the fallen humanity sinful world. And both of these two false, deceiving, misleading, misguiding evil forces shall show great signs and wonders. And as much if they should deceive and mislead and misguide. of God and of Christ or the very elect chosen ones of God and of Christ. And behold, tell you again and I warn you again if they shall say unto you behold I mean what's up and behold and lo and hey and yo he the Christ is in the field but go not forward to seek after that false deceiving misleading misguiding person and believe it not What's up? And behold, and lo, and hey, and yo, he the Christ is in, is within the secret chambers, within the temple, within the churches. But go not forward to seek after that false deceiving, misleading, misguiding person and believe it not. For as the light 
coming out of the east and even shine it unto the west. Even so also shall the coming of the Son of Man, the Christ, the Son of God and the Messiah, shall be and shall come. Whatsoever the carcass is, and therefore whatsoever the dead bodies is, there, there shall the eagles be gathered together also.